Welcome, and thank you for joining me in another exciting episode from Royal Pumpkin Academy, brought to you by Royal Pumpkin, the modern-day vegan's number one choice for all natural and eco-friendly wellness products. Make the switch today, and remember, happy fish, healthy planet. Welcome back. I am making a restock of some very popular coffee soap. Doing something I don't normally do often and that's make two batches in one. So we've got our lye water and I've also poured in coffee grounds. This was going a lot faster the first time I did this. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do it all. See what happens. Just get every last bit of this. I forget how I did it last time. I think I did exactly the same thing that I'm doing now, but it was a little while ago, I just kind of forget. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good mix up. I'll be right back. There we go, it's getting really nice and thick. So it's about ready for our essential oils of roasted coffee. Or this way. Alright, I'm gonna just put this entire bottle in here because this is a very big batch and they require a lot of oil. Okay, so it's pretty much as much as I can get and I'm gonna give it a bit of a mix over we'll right back. You know, because blah. <laughs> We use cocoa butter in this so it will help to bring together that chocolatey scent. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Just make sure you are in frame. Yeah. Get in my bucket. give a tap down. This helps to even it out and also knock out any air bubbles. Ah. roast coffee soaps and so these are going to be here uh, for 24 hours and then I'll bring you guys back for the cut oh this is just rubbing alcohol for soda ash and that's about that voila And 
And today we are cutting our chocolate soap. So we've got, trying something new. We've got three cameras. We've got one over here. We've got one over here. And then the bird's eye view up top. So we're just having a little bit of fun. Can you tell how bored I am? All right. So first of our two wonderful coffee bars. Um, we are running out of space now. We are not normally cutting so much soap all at once. Let me move that to there we go. And also put them in the oven. I always see people online putting them in the oven. Not on, obviously, just with the light. But they say that it helps to promote the gelling and it creates a harder bar. So, I mean, that did come out mighty beautifully. And look, also it did shell a lot more. You can see where the dark spots are. That's where the gelling is. Very nice. And it is very hard actually, a lot harder than I'm normally used to. Normally I've got soap all over my hands. Got a little bit there, but I, Fine, that's okay. Uh, get you out of the way. And now the moment of truth. All nice and lined up. Oh, and there is some soap from the previous cut. Okay. And we are ready. Let's do this. Is such a nice dark rich brown oh I'm really liking that because normally it would get like that circle but I think those soapers might be on to something because that looks so pretty gorgeous Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to get more content from Royal Pumpkin Academy. Until next time, bye!